Good afternoon. This is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. The Iowa Supreme Court is expected to issue a decision in June on Iowa's abortion law after hearing oral arguments about whether the law that would ban most abortions as early as six weeks of pregnancy should be allowed to take effect. A lawyer for Planned Parenthood says the court should use the undue burden standard and declare the law unconstitutional for violating women's rights to control their bodies. Solicitor General Eric Wiesem argued for the state that Iowa plays a vital role in protecting unborn life. He says the Iowa Supreme Court should use the rational basis test and let the abortion ban take effect. Abortion is currently allowed in Iowa up to 20 weeks of pregnancy. In other news, people attending a Sioux City event heard that as more refugees move into Iowa, there is a critical need for health care providers who understand their unique needs. Nick Wirtz is Director of Immigration and Refugee Community Services for Lutheran Services of Iowa, and he said 11 agencies are helping resettle 2,500 people across the state of Iowa, which is more than last year. A strong majority are coming from the Democratic Republic of Congo, Syria, and Burma. Definitely under-resourced as a whole, right, in, in this state, and so we do see additional challenges for, for newcomers that, you know, don't, don't speak the language and, you know, are learning how to navigate insurance and all, all of these things. Wirtz said there is a shortage of physicians, dentists, and especially mental health workers who can treat refugees. He attended a conference at Briarcliff University in Sioux City Friday on how to achieve cultural awareness in healthcare. The event also attracted college students who plan to go into the medical field after graduation. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth.